Happy Friday, Dow Jones closing bell. Let's talk about that, Dow. We've had a three-day breakout with the earnings, my friend. Let us get to know you, develop that relationship. We have lots of services that will help you, believe me. And we are action-packed. And you're above the 100-day moving average, first time in a long time. And the 200-day is up here on the Dow, way up there. Is it possible in the month of August that they could get that up there? It's always possible because a lot of people know that they had this earnings season pegged for dead, but it came around. Things weren't as bad as anticipated. Always the case, my friends. So once again, this is no longer, this is a, a, a good trend. It's a good trend that when they come down, you can buy pullbacks that will hit support. And if they come back and test at any time with any volatility, it's not the doom and gloom feature. Things are somewhat overbought. However, it's all about now that the trend has some momentum. You could buy these pullbacks without getting crushed and getting the sellers selling the market down like they were. No, this market now and the mindset of this market now, and it changed this week during the earnings releases, and that it did, and that's the story. And that Dow has had a very good three days. It's capped up each day, and I can tell you that on Monday, we're going to be watching what Dow 30 stocks push it, We'll be watching the advanced decline line. And we have many, many sophisticated uh, chart tools that we would like to share with you when you sign up for the free five-day trial. Once again, bull run, Dow Jones, buy the dips.